All right, Blade Forums, day one chat show with Salt Knives, Chris Kasbah, product manager for Salt. He's had a promotion. He used to be the new products guy. He used to be the marketing guy. He used to be the marketing guy. Now he's product manager, moving up in the world. He's uh, been here for 17 chat shows now. Yep. He's feeling every single year, but he's graciously volunteered at the risk of life and, or loss of life and limb. I wouldn't have said I have volunteered. I was kind of forced into this by Kevin. Yep, but he is uh, willing to show us the new products for 2019 and so on. All right, so there's a whole bunch of new stuff here on the table. Uh, there's all this stuff here. Let me see if we can uh, do it. Ooh, look at that. Neat stuff. Multicolored handles, carbon fiber, etc. Metals and plastics. And Some flat folding multi-tools that yep. remind me of uh, another company. But, uh, yeah. Uh, well, this should remind you of one of ours. Well, let's, let's just start here. Yeah, let's start off. We'll start with this. So I'll just talk about it here. So these are the Sync. We introduced the Sync uh, multi-tools two years ago. We had the Sync 1 and the Sync 2. So what we've done this year is we've made a travel-friendly one. So the original Sync had a knife blade in it. This is this exact same tool, except for it's in black now. You've got a base. They both have a base that has a, a belt clip on it. So you can strap it onto, clip it onto a belt, a backpack strap. Uh, if you take the clip off, there's just two screws right there. You pull back those two screws out. You can put it onto a belt. Use it as a belt buckle. Okay. Um, the tool, just a little key slotted. Uh, yep, goes this way. Key slotted in there. Snaps in. Super secure. Push the button down. Slides out. Open it up. Got a nice pair of pliers. You got a ruler on there. But you've got tool access outboard here. You've got a pair of scissors. A little pair of scissors there. Scissors are super important. Yep. You don't realize how much you need scissors until you until you, until, until you, until have, you have them for a while and then you don't have them. Yeah. Um, then you got a file and a little screwdriver and a bottle opener on there. But there's no knife, no nothing sharp on there. So you can carry this onto the plane without having to check it. So it's TSA compliant. Yep. Each so, one comes with the buckle. The buckle, yep. So you have the sync one. And the Sync 2, slightly larger version, has a couple more components in the handle, uh, but operates the same way. The keyed in access here, and you have the same thing. You have a flat blade screwdriver with a bottle opener on it, a file, a smaller screwdriver. And then over here you have, I think it's over here, you have scissors and a, and a fill, modified Phillips screwdriver. Awesome. Great, great items. Uh, and I think these will be shipping in the middle of January, so like now. Okay, cool. Um, this is kind of a, a nice change for us. We're actually shipping stuff that we're talking about at Sean Show, at Sean Show. Uh, where, where are these made? Uh, they're overseas in China. Okay, cool. Um, and if you like the sink, this may be a good one to check out. Or if you're unsure about the sink it's just because of the knife and traveling, this is one you should definitely check out. So I will switch gears a little bit to some more multi-tools. We'll keep it in the multi-tool spectrum. And I was talking, and you actually hadn't seen these yet before. So this is the Power Lead, Power Pint and Power Leader. So these are nice, compact, little, multi pocketable multi-tools. They actually fit in like that that fifth like coin pocket in your jeans. Um, got a pocket clip on there. It's a nice tumbled stone wash finish. Has has our patented geared compound leverage on there. And see how that works. The other thing we have that we also have a patent on is the bit driver in the end of the pliers there. There's a magnet in there that helps hold the bit, so those all those little quarter inch hex head uh, driver bits. Standard driver bits. Standard driver bits fit, fit right in there. So instead of needing a separate, uh, instead of eating up the space for the uh, folding tools with a bit driver, it yep. works right on the end there. And right. if you straighten the, well, when you straighten the handles out, okay. It doesn't work, no. I mean, you could do it here, but that just, uh, that, that just wouldn't work. But the other nice thing is, We've, we've gotten, so all the components are outboard accessible, so you don't have to open the tool. This one, the pint here has a really nice feature, has a line cutter as well as a little chisel pry bar kind of thing there. So it has the V cutter slash pry bar, so you're not uh, breaking your... Yeah, the knife blade when you're prying, because nobody, nobody ever prize with their knife. Yeah, they never, never use it as a screwdriver. Yeah, nobody ever, uh, <laughs> hey, let me borrow your knife so that I can... Uh, Use it as a screwdriver. Here's your S35 BM yeah. uh, knife blade that, back. It's now actually a flathead. <laughs> that took the tip right off. I've never seen that happen. Not once. <laughs> so, this is the pint. 
And then we have the leader, which is basically the same thing, but we've added some, a couple cool things to it. We've added as a corkscrew. Very popular in France. Yes. Um, but it's not just any corkscrew. Yes, you have the corkscrew. You can screw the screw it in there. You can do the the muscle pull the pull the cork out. But what we figured out is we we have compound leverage. So why not take advantage of it? You have this little foot here. So the way it works is you screw the cork the, the corkscrew into the cork. Put this on the lip of the bottle. Pull up. You can use this compound leverage to help pull. The wine cork out. It so works like amazingly a, well. So it's like a traditional waiter's assistant to yep. corkscrew. But it's got a little bit of compound leverage in there to so make it even easier than the waiter's assistant. Even cool. Yeah, it's so super cool. And then that just tucks back in there. This guy locks in there. Yep. Super cool. Still pocketable. It is slightly larger than the power pint, but I mean, you do have. Still fit in the change pocket though. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Won't be available in black. Uh, Funny you ask, we are working on a black version right now. It's not out yet, but uh, kind of spill the beans. Blade form, kind of find out forms. First, that we're going to do a black version at some point in the future. I don't have a release date yet, but we are working on a black version of them. Okay, so for the French and Canadian military, though, will it be available with the EOD blast and cap crimper? No. <laughs> no. 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 Just the bit driver and the corkscrew. All right. Excellent. <laughs> so, continuing with the multi tools. This is one we've worked on for a little while, it's called the Snippet. So if you know our multi-tools, you may know the Crosscut, the Crosscut 2, the next version of it. And it's a, a folding scissors. So this one again is a folding pair of scissors, but the difference is it's a manual operated pair of scissors. Oh wow. So just like traditional scissors, you have your finger, your finger loops there, but there's no spring on it. So you have a whole lot more control over that open, that scissor action there and the way you're cutting. Versus with the other ones where you have, you have to squeeze it with your fingers and you have to overcome the spring tension that keeps it open so it's a little, it's a little harder to manage. We figured out a way to get the finger guards in there so that when you are cutting, it works just like a normal pair of scissors. Does that also have a knife blade? Uh, it does have a knife blade, if I remember correctly. I think that's right there. Okay, cool. And it's got a, it's, it's more of a, I would say a personal care. You've got a, you've got a little eyeglass screwdriver, bottle opener, you have tweezers in there, you have a little toothpick, you have a, a nail file. No, right no hipster beard comb in there? Uh, no, we haven't done that one yet, but that might be in Gen 2. Okay. <laughs> and it still folds up. You've got a little pocket clip on there. Nice, so it's a portable personal grooming tool slash multi-tool yeah. slash uh, scissors. Awesome. Sla slash cool shiny object. With, with like with three SOG logos on it, so just in case you weren't sure, yeah. we put that on there three times. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent, so Excellent so, use of branding. And I'm, I'm going to call that out so that people in the forums don't have to call it out for us. Yes, it's on there three times, and we know it's on there three times. Awesome. <laughs> just, in, just in case. Yeah. So no matter how you drop it on the table, yep. you know, when you're showing off your hipster cred, they will know. I, I have no hipster song. cred. <laughs> so... The next knife we're going to go over is the Terminus XR. We introduced this knife, started shipping it, I think it was middle of September of last year, so September of 2018. Um, and it's a new new locking mechanism for us. It may look familiar to some people, um, but we've taken, and we're calling it the, the crossbar lock, or XR, as we're referring to it in our nomenclature. Uh, and it started out, this is, this is the Terminus XR. You've got a carbon fiber over G10 handle. Uh, you've got your polished edges on your, uh, your liners there. And it's just a, you've got a kick on the back of the blade there. Flips it right open. You've got ball bearing uh, pivots there. And there's just a sliding crossbar lock. You kind of slide the mechanism slides back there. And there are no springs on that. It's just all manual loading force with my finger there that opens that up. So are there springs with the crossbar as well? Yeah, there's springs on, on, the, on the lock mechanism, but there's no spring on the blade. Okay, cool. So it's ambidextrous locking. It is 100% ambidextrous. Ambidextrous opening. Ambidextrous opening works the same left or right. Unlocking. It's a super strong locking mechanism. Flipper. Yep. You can use a flipper. You can use the thumb stud to open it if you want. Nice. Very smooth. What's yeah. What's the MSRP on this? Uh, eighty dollars. Nice. Yeah. It's a BDZ one stainless steel. And, and then, the so we've had good success with that one, and it's gotten a lot of positive feedback for us. Is this made in the US? It is made overseas. And so what we're doing is we're taking this one and we're expanding it. So we're adding two more versions with a straight G10 handle. And instead of the the satin polished blade that we do, we're doing a, uh, 
A stone wash blade. A stone wash blade. Nice. So satin blade for dressy. Stone wash if you're actually going to work and beat your knife up. Yep. Yeah, three different handle finishes and all around the eighty-nine. Well, so this one's seventy-nine. Okay. And these are coming in at sixty dollars. Sixty dollar price point. Nice. Yes. Yeah. This is going to be a good, hard-working uh, choice for anybody that needs a EDC knife yeah. for under hundred dollars. This is going to be a winner for sure. And it's and it's and the nice thing about it is is it's based off of our terminus not uh, slip joint knife that we introduced. I think it was three years ago. And the intent behind that knife was to be sort of a world legal knife that you can carry anywhere. So it's under a three inch blade. So this is a, just under three inch, like two point nine inches. Um, the regular, the original terminus was a slip joint, so it didn't have a non-locking blade. So in those weird countries that don't that don't like you have locking blades and they have to be under three inches, we were cool. So we kind of continued that idea and we made something that's a little more progressive and a little more along with the sort of domestic needs. So the original was a slip joint, there's a, a UK legal pen knife or yep. along those lines. Yep. And these are more of an Americanized version of it. Yep. And it's still under three inch blade, so I live in Seattle, uh, Washington, and I know that the law is under three inches is fine. So it kind of makes it nice. I can carry one of our knives and not have to worry about it. The People's Republic of Seattle. Yes. <laughs> so those are great knives. Um, Close this one for us, and then I'm going to take a little, a uh, little diversion here, and uh, we're introducing another new sort of entry level price point budget knife. This is the Aegis FLK, and the FLK stands for Frame Lock with Kick. We're getting a real original with our naming system here. Yeah. Um, but it's the FLK. It's a stamp stainless steel handle. It's a frame lock design. You've got a, you got your pocket clip on there. You've got a nice little kick for the flipper, but. Snaps right open. So it's an assisted open? Nope. nope. There's no assist on it. Nice. Yep. It all works off of the, the leverage of the kick there. And uh, this is we doing. We were doing some, this is one of our pre-production prototypes. We were doing some load test to that's so kind of the load that it takes to open it in case anybody ever asked, but you know, whatever. But flip it like that, super cool. It's kind of, it's nice, it's heavy, it's durable. Um, you know, we were surveying people when we first introduced it, and people were like, I don't know, I pay 40, 50, 120 bucks for it, and people said to pay 120 bucks for it. We were like, eh, okay. But uh, we're, we're selling this one with a retail price of $32. $32, amazing. So this is obviously made in, uh, made overseas as yep. well? Yep, it's an 8CR stainless steel. 8CR 13? Yeah, yeah, I think it is 13. Nice. Yeah. This is going to be a winner in the uh, sub fifty dollar market. Totally, and it's a knife you can beat on, and you know if you do drop it and lose it or whatever, it's not a big deal. Excellent. Yeah. Cool. I'm excited about this one, and this, this one will slice apples all day long. <laughs> cool. You, you can quote me on that one. Slicing apples. Slicing apples all day long. You heard it here first, folks. So, let me talk to you, brother. <laughs> this will slice apples. The last one I want to go over is is a an extension of our XR lock. So we have our XR, this is our first iteration of the XR lock, the Terminus XR. So we're gonna go over, the new one here is the Seal XR. So this is obviously, to the name, this is obviously designed for military tactical customer. Yep, yep. And yep. it's, it's a little bit large for everyday carry, but it'll still work if you yep. like carrying the jeans. And, and we did a, it's sort of a, a, if we took the Seal Pup and made it a folding knife, so, it's got our XR ambidextrous, super strong XR lock. We've got a glass reinforced nylon handle with full stainless steel liners. <coughs> Excuse me. But the cool thing is, is the blade is a US ground S35 VN blade. So it's assembled in the US. Some of the handle parts are made overseas, so we can't we can't say it's 100% US made, but majority US made, US assembled. It's going to have a retail price of $190. Skeletonized spine. Yep. Glass breaker slash pry. It's not really a glass breaker. It's all admit it's a little too uh, rounded over to be a glass breaker, but definitely a persuader device. You can get, you get, some, get somebody's attention with that. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And yeah, this will be uh, the, this guy. The Terminus XRs are. This guy's available now. These guys are all sort of shipping right now. The terms with the G10s will be July time frame, and uh, the, CL the CLXR April is what we're estimating right now. Cool. Excellent. That's 
that's the cool the cool business from SOG for right. 2019. Well, Chris, SOG 2019 SHOT Show, thanks for uh, sharing the new SOG knives with us, and we appreciate it. Thanks.